Okay, and then he will hit you with a swift. He's five foot already. Yeah, but he can five foot as a free action. As long as he doesn't take a movement action. Hit you with a scorching ray. That's really nasty at his level. Ooh, a crit on one of them, too. I don't think there's a save against that. There isn't. But he fails on the crit confirm. So you take uh, 24 points from the crit. Oh, no, yeah, it's 24. Plus another 30. Tome is down. No. You guys don't have fire resistance? We've not really built against fire resistance because they good. sure do. They have 20 fire resistance because I cast mass fire resistance on that trap one. Or no, wait, did we rest after that? I mean, that was like, I think a long time ago, wasn't it? Because we were taking all I the forget, did we things. Did we rest after the fireball trap? Um, yeah. I don't think you guys rested after that. We didn't. We just spent the time to put everything in the portable hole. Um, didn't I sell everything? Oh, no. No, I... no, I sold, then we got that. Okay. I think I cast uh, Mass Fire Resistance again anyways. I think it's oh, the did you? one okay. we cast. Let me check my spells used. How long does Mass Fire, fire Resistance last for? Ten minutes per level. Yeah, I cast two Dimension Doors. One to get, uh... Um... Uh, around the end of the room, and then one to run away, and then mass fire resistance. Those are the only three spells you cast? And only three fourth level spells. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so minutes. Toem, you get, how much is that? 20 resistance. So you take 20 off of the fireball, and 20 off of each of those blasts, so it's only the uh, 24 that gets through. Do you get that? Yep. I'm just trying to think. Uh... Huzzah! <laughs> Basically, I you kind of did something. Out of the 39, you would get back 20. And then out of the 30, you would get back 20. Well, out of the 30. Oh, sorry. The 30, you just don't take it all. Yeah. Out of the 24, you'd get back 20. Yeah, so 20, 20, and 30. So. Damn, yeah. Yeah, that uh, was super ineffective. I'm glad that we retconned that after I chose to cast all my spells. Should have just hit him with a magic missile. Okay, um... Oh, then, yeah, but it still beats away at his shield. Fair. Fire resistance does nothing. That was one of the reasons that I wanted the overcoming ability is because there should be some kind of limit to how much fire resistance you have. Like, you could literally go stand in a lava bed and take 30 points around for the duration of the spell. That's an awful lot of damage. I think that'd be fair, though. I guess my question would be, what's the difference between that and protection? Well, protection wears out. You get 10 points or 12 points per level, and when you've used it up, it's gone. Lava does, I think, 20d6 if you're called Yummers, but... Yeah, it is sort of weird. But 20d6, yeah, 20d6, as we just noted, isn't a lot of damage. But you could stand in something, equal, not equally hot, but very hot, and take a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we change it, uh, as a guy that uses it, just let me know. Yeah, no, uh, I... I, I does resistance as where it's just half, but that's just me. It's a very different way of doing things. Yeah, half uh, is how they did it in second edition. And I like that. But I also like the concept of having a floor on it. So making it like a spell check, like a level, caster level check, um, to negate it or to reduce it or something. I don't know. I haven't really even looked at it since we first discussed it. But uh, I don't like infinite things. So that's mostly my issue with it. At least half like keeps the depth without improving complexity. Sorry, what was that? 
at least the uh, like the half version like using fire resistance as is 2e 5e um it maintains the depth without increasing the complexity so like, to some degree the problem is then uh the level doesn't matter like one of the bonuses of fire resistance is it's 10 points at when you get it and then it's 20 at 7th and 30 at uh 11th and i like the progression of power in the game that's one of the things i don't like about psionics is the way they balanced it with the infinite power was it has a fixed amount so you have to pay points for every point of damage you do but regardless uh we are on to aaron um so i guess he did give that description then all that so let's move what's the best way to do this um I think it'd have to be this way. That's one movement. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Uh, don't I have a swift action here? Um. I guess I'll just try a swift action acid splash just to get rid of a mirror image, is that fair? Assuming so, I'll just roll it. Natural one, carry on. Uh, not used to those spells, clearly. Um, that's the turn. Okay, uh, then we are on to Fear. Um, can't see anything yet, so I'm just going to move. You can probably see Aaron looking northwest. Yeah, but I still have to move to see him. Oh, okay, fair. I can, you can probably see Aaron looking northwest from behind. Look, I'm trying to... You can tell which way his eyes are pointed from the curvature of his skull. I mean... I'm just going to move there and that's it. I am bald. Fair enough. Okay, um, then we're on to Yinwick. You can count down. Corey take uh, the run action to just hit 60 oh. I uh, hit a wall I will take I will run into a wall that'll be my uh, and that's how far it's like three times my movement so I think this is it actually yeah once you hit the wall you're fucked All right. and there isn't much you can really do about that on the angle between those doorways yeah I don't think I could move any far. actually I could get 90 feet but this is yeah you just can't hit an obstacle yeah yeah okay uh elvrick uh he'll just come with i think in which is one round left No, I've I've been alive. I'm counting upwards because I don't know exactly how long this lasts. I've been gone to five turns, five of my turns. His fear effect is for twelve rounds. Yeah, I'm not uh, going to anytime see. soon. And then I I presumably spent all twelve of those rounds running away, right? Yeah, but when you're so, done, you can just dimension door back. I I mean, can I? Would dimension dooring down be like away from the dragon? What's the dragon got to do with anything? Oh, is there not a dragon? I forget what the fear effect. I, oh, the fear effect came from the comes oh, from the lich. Oh. Once oh. once he's spent twelve rounds outside of the fear effect, he can just teleport back to where he was. Well, would mm -hmm. I would I be able to pinpoint that? Um, I think for the purposes of uh mechanics, you probably can. I think the bigger issue is what's your movement rate. Uh, my movement rate is thirty feet. Yeah, if you spend 12 rounds at 30, I guess that would be 60 feet, 
um, you're looking at a fair distance you've cr covered. You might not have enough range with the yeah, dimension door uh, anymore. Uh, well, 12 times 6 40. is 720. Uh, 720 feet, you have to be fairly high level. I think it's... Uh, 720 feet uh, is, is my range for this. How far can you dimension door? 720 feet. Oh, it, it is actually exactly the same? Uh, no, I, I didn't count how far I, I am away. So I teleported the first round, and then 11 more rounds of running. I well, So if I double moved, I'd be 660 feet away. But if I ran, then I'd be twice as far away. Well, when you get to the surface, you are in sparse forest, so you're not going to be able to run full speed, so you could only double move. Okay, so then yes, I, I technically can, although I, I I will accept a simplification in quality of life if I'm allowed to just pinpoint teleport back in, uh, but if, if I'm not allowed to because I'm now 600 feet away in a blind panic, it, that I've been running in a blind panic and not exactly like keeping... Perfect trigonometric accuracy of where it end up. I'd be fine with that too. Whatever you want to rule. Yeah, I think you uh, you're a wizard, aren't you? Correct. Thousands. Yeah, you're pretty smart. Like, all you have you ran away. You're gonna run in a a straight line for the most part. Obviously, you're gonna dodge trees and rocks and stuff. But um, you're running in a straight line. You know roughly how high up you went because you dimension doored to get to the surface. And yeah, it's just some basic uh, math. It's not even trig. It's just a right angle triangle. All right. Like if you arbitrarily decided you were going to teleport up 40 feet and that puts you 10 feet off the ground. What knowledge engineering do you have? Yeah. Yeah, that would basically be it. You can make a knowledge engineering check to figure it out. I'll do that when the fear ends or now? Whenever you want. I don't care. Uh, okay. Um, did Tome go? Was it my turn? Yeah, you're last. Always. Mostly. Let's see. <clears throat> so many people in my way. I know, Jesse. The other time got out of your way. This time he stood in your way. Well, to be fair, I was trying to be a body block for death spells. A 17. Alright, I'll just... Because I can't get there through all these people, because going through them is going to be double movement, right? Yeah, each square is doubled when there's somebody in it. I will use my teleport to get right here. Is that is that also a house rule? Because it's not normally the case for 8.5. No, it isn't, but it just makes sense. I think that's from 5th edition. Okay. And yes, I guess I have uh, Is it a standard to go there? Yeah, standard to go there. Let's see what I can do here. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I'll just... Five foot over here. Make flanking with him easy. Alright, that ends my turn. Okay, then it's initiative. Shit, I didn't click my token. Ooh, rolled better. Okay, Fear, you're up first. Uh, How is your initiative so insane? I have an insane dex. Oh, it's Toem's initiative, so insane. Oh, he wields a greatsword and it's minus 10. 
And I wear and I and I wear uh full plate. Um yeah, the armor check applies to her as a penalty. We're just gonna hit him with uh positive energy scorching ray. SR You are probably aware he has mirror images. Oh, I would be aware. Well, I already said it, so I'm not gonna take it back. Okay. Well, that gets rid of three of them. Once you make your save, yep. Yeah. Well. Yep. Mm, what's the DC? DC for abjuration is 25. Oh, no, it's not abju abjuration, I don't think. That's, uh, it would only be 24. I think mirror image is illusion. Okay. It makes sense to be illusion, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking it's a protection spell. That's why I took Abjuration. It's because all the protection spells, they're like that. Do I roll per ray or just for the spell? Uh, each time you roll, yep. I will have left those last two just so they get rid of mirror images so our party can actually hit the dude. Okay, how many luck have you got left? After this, none. Dang. Nice. I know who I'm targeting next. And then I will uh, hit it with uh, two fire jolts. Oh, sorry. Positive energy firebolts. Okay. How many mirror images did you destroy? Um, that you said the DC is twenty four. The DC is twenty four. I don't think he has anything. Hang on, I'll check and see. I just realized that I probably. Did I take, see if he has, oh, he has a Cloak of Charisma, so that would be his total. I wasn't sure if he had, uh, whatchamacallit, Splendor Up. I'm thinking of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Elithid from uh, the weekend. Um, he has one image. Cool. Okay, then you're up, Aaron. Um, how to do this properly? Let's you have, you have to provoke to get to him. It's true. I'm I, I'm fine with that, but um, I okay. So I want to get one of ten. Let's let's just try the uh, acid splash again. Okay. Nice. Time. Okay, so we're just gonna move. We are going to take the AOL. Let's see it. Uh, I guess if I'm taking the AOL. Um, I can go here and still get the flanking because of the reach thing. Uh, yes. Okay. A lot of that one's flying around. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just looking at that. Um, okay, then I will hopefully clear out the last... Mm. No, not even there. Uh, let's make the will save. Wonderful. Um, Mary Mitch is gone. And... Move standard swift, that's it, thank you. I knew I should have taken one of the short range teleport spells. Don't be that way. Thank you, we finally got this dude. Yeah, I don't think you have any trouble making the spellcraft check, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but he's not going to want to spend a round in between the two of you. So almost without exception, it makes sense for him to get out of there. Um, What's the range on chain missile? Uh, it's a medium... 
But no, between yeah. the targets. 30. Okay. So if he gets away from Aaron, he can then chain missile the two of them, the three of them. I guess I'll need to ask this question then. Is, does it, for the method he is going to try and escape, is that going, is there going to be a component that would hint that he is about to do so? Well, he's going to cast the spell. Um, I guess yes. at that point, seeing him cast a spell, I'm going to go for the celerity again to try and attack him to force the concentration, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, uh, I will do so. Um, let's lock that to a crit. And, damn, I can't lock that to a crit. Um, so. Uh, 45 plus. Oh, don't, don't bother figuring out the damage. Uh, as his immediate uh, action, he will cast Mirror Image. Okay. Uh, no, hold on. Wasn't he casting a teleport spell? Yes, but he can cast a uh, immediate spell at any point. Didn't we just establish you can't cast an immediate spell while you're casting a teleport spell? Or right. while you're casting another spell? I guess that technically makes sense. Aren't you casting Celerity in response to him? Uh, yes. The yeah. moment I, I would assume Castle when I would want to try and stop him from... Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. Well, awesome. I wasn't sure how Celerity kicked in, I, but uh, yeah, I think that's right. Um, okay, that's unfortunate then. I, I hope I'm not being like an unpleasant no. rules lawyer or anything. I just like... No, no, that makes, that's, makes perfect consistency. I was just trying to think of how mechanically it would work, but you're right. If he's already, if the trigger for the uh, immediate action is him casting a spell, he can't cast a spell while casting a spell. No one has a plus seven luck, do they? I was just thinking that his response to being hit would be to cast uh, Mirror Image as immediate action. Uh, two questions. Uh, is the BG on the DR, is that bludgeoning? It is bludgeoning and good. And good. Plus, plus two, two weapon, weapon doesn't override that, does it? No, good is a plus four weapon. Plus four. Um, damn. Okay. Uh, cool. That's still a lot of damage. Sorry about that. I'm going to take a wild guess that I can't luck people from from however many hundreds of feet away I am. No, you have to at least be aware of the situation. Fair enough. Yep, that was it. Sorry, carry on. Okay. Well, that's very unfortunate for him. So then he will use his last charge on his boots and teleport away. Damn. Really hope that would have stopped that. Okay. I didn't think for a second you were going to be able to do that much damage. Yeah, I was really hoping to do the the crit finish, but off by two points. Okay, well that was uh, interesting. Um, this comment still going. Uh, at least for the rest of the round. Okay. So Yinwick, uh, can count down. What's Elvrick doing? Uh, he's moving in because he doesn't realize there's another guy's going. He'll move in, see he's gone, and proceed forward. Okay. Then we're on to Corey. Alright. He got a corner. Uh, I was actually considering using the boots of teleport to get out of that position, 
Um, but I wanted to save them for the round when he got wounded because he can use them while he's hurt. Can you use a five foot step and then make a move action? If you use the five foot step as your swift action, yes. Yeah, I'll do that then. You know, you can take a free five foot step if you take no movement based action. So if you're standing still the whole round, except for a five foot, you can do it for free. Gotcha. Then I will see uh, him in the area. Um, he didn't teleport again, did he? Or did he? I think he did, right? Did anybody call well, that out? Because if he, if he hears like some big, like, he's teleported. Yeah, Albert teleport. would have called out when he walked okay. Uh, Elvrick didn't see anything, though. Oh, for all Elvrick knows, he's invisible. Yeah, I mean, Elvrick knows he was fighting, and he's not there, so he would say he's just not there anymore. I'm gonna go back into the room. <laughs> Where is my tool for... Oops. I already put that. My tool for... Snap the second one. So, it's 60... I'll uh, I'll wait in this room for a while. <laughs> Taking my run action, I have to wait in this room because I took my run action to come back in there. Okay. Then we're on to Tome. Sorry, Tome. I tried. Where's dimension yeah. to make sure when you need it? Tome or uh, Aaron did a great job. It's I'm sure Tome's not upset about that. Elbrick is up there and he hasn't said anything yet. So I will head the other direction. Yeah, it's been centuries. I mean, if he doesn't know the world, then there's not many places he could teleport outside this location. Possibly. I guess well, he's, find he's technically under, like, orders to defend this place. That's why he's attacking us at all, so... Yeah, it is reasonable to assume that he has not gone far, um, because that is his objective. Um, well, do we even but... know his objective? I think only Corey speaks that language, right? Yeah, he didn't translate no, that's, it. That, that's fair. <laughs> no, I've been translating this entire time. <laughs> but he might say, hey, he's not going to go far, he's here guarding. Uh, I mean, you can. That's what Corey's been saying. He's been like, "I'm going to wait for him to come back." So, <laughs> sorry, I have too much time to think about random, random nitpicks. I'll, I'll stop being yeah, that guy. You're fine. The simple fact is, if he dies, he can't defend. So, if he's in a critical position, he has to flee. Corey's responses admittedly would be vague, but they would be correct. Of like, that's the end of my turn right there. Sorry, where did you go, Tom? The room in the below where we started. Oh, sorry. Jesus. Okay, so uh, I think we'll just come back around to fear. Uh, I'm going to dimension door to the room in front of Elvrick. Okay. That seems like a giant waste of spell power. Yeah, just trying to look. And then move into this room. And not see anything, and that's my turn. Okay, then we're on to Aaron. I'll show it back as loud as I can. It's not up here. He was there. He needs to defend, so he has to take us out, or else he's lost his only reason. Um, which means he can't. So his best bet. He wouldn't go in the treasury room. That'd be not what a guard would do. Is there anything over here? Why wouldn't a guard go to the treasure room, especially if he's there to guard the treasure? Uh, but he wasn't there to guard the treasure, right? Wouldn't it be... 
more wouldn't it be ingrained like to be more suspicious for a guy that's not supposed to be there to guard it? He's a smart guy at this point. Actually, he's using charisma to cast. So. Mm, that's fair. I mean, I've got the movement. Uh, is there a door of it? Mm, I'll let Fury deal with that. I'm on top of Tome. My bad. What am I, I dealing with? Just like Tome field advantage. Yeah, there's. I don't see anything there. Um, that was the five foot I just made. I don't see anything up top. I'll say the treasure room, this room, and a bit farther, and this hallway is clear. And that'll be the turn. I am stupid. I use celerity. I don't get all that movement. I am sorry. I kind of cheated. I'll just take away. I'll wait, move there. Don't I'll worry about it. You can just turn. not move next round. Yeah, I'll do that. Nothing's happening at this point. I just want to know how many rounds you guys are spending searching for him before you find him, because I'm casting spells while you're doing that. Fair enough. Reference, I do have a blind sight thing. I'm not dark vision. But he is within my area. So I can use that. Next level, I'm taking teleport trace. Just so we're clear. That's a good okay. spell to have. Or dimensional anchor, you know, either. Anything okay. really. Dimensional anchor is a touch spell, so it can ah, fuck you that. real quick with things like spell turning. Or mirror image. Yeah, mirror image fucks with that too. And if he can cast, he can cast immediate spells, so he can just go immediate mirror image, and you automatically miss him. Yeah, I I noticed. <laughs> like I said, I the only reason I didn't use the teleport as the base because it was my standard action either way. I was just like, uh, if I use that, then I'm gonna have to go over here, and uh, no, I'll just use a spell because that'll be faster. I even have teleport in memory. I don't think he's cast any of his teleports or any of his fifth level spells. So you're just gonna keep roaming then, or should we just regroup at this point if we're still in com if we're still in combat? Never mind. Yeah, everyone take their action. Uh, I just went, so Yinwick continue to run. How many rounds are you at, Yinwick? Seven now. Uh, I've okay. been running for six, and the first one I teleported up. Okay. Then we're on to Elvrick. Elvrick will turn around. And just look at this door suspiciously and stand there. That's all he can move. Excellent. Synagrate. Just watch, he has a Pearl of Power, level 6. That would, would be him, awesome. I would love that. Rolls a three, 1, 2, or 3. Uh, Pearl of Power at 6th level is like 36,000. Yeah, that's why I would love it. Oh, that was terrible. I should have rolled much better on, or should have picked uh, better uh, feats. Okay, Wraith comes through the door to the north uh, at Elvric. And it's Corey's turn. Fortunately, you're several rounds away. Uh, well, I'll take 15, 15, 20. Five, 
And that will be, I'll cast Synchronicity. And I'll wait my turn. Isn't that like the third or fourth time you cast that? Uh, I have, it goes away every round. <clears throat> but it's only one power point because it's a first level spell. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, basically the only stipulation between that and just readying an action is that I don't have to specify the circumstance of which I'm readying my action. So. No, that's really cool ability. Yeah. Okay, Tom, what are you doing? Being that I haven't heard anything yet, um... Or I will shout out from the northeastern corridor. It's not here! Well, group information. Okay, well then I guess I won't go up there. Tommy is not there either. Can see this way. 20 I guess I see a wraith there, but that movement only gets me there. And I'll end my turn there. Um, just for context, Aaron, I forgot. I shoved his uh, stone skin into the wall uh, just so that Toem wasn't confusing it with another token. Um, so you hit him just once, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So that would be 20 points off of that and onto the stone skin. Did you take off his DR? I did, yes. Okay, so I'll just take the 20 points off the stone skin and put it on him. Just so you know when you see him why his hit point chain total has changed. I appreciate it, thank you. I was just thinking about that. I was like, why didn't he cast Stone Skin? That would have been the first spell. Oh, wait, wait a minute. He did. <laughs> okay. Tome's gone, so now we can roll initiative. A few of us already. Okay, so we're rolling again. Cool. Yeah, this will be the round where you do nothing. Uh, where I just move, yeah. On the plus side, I'm getting better at remembering to select my token before initiative. I'll use synchronicity before my round comes to cast share pain on my crystal, so it takes half damage that I do. How many hit points has it got? Uh, thirty-one. I believe has half my hit points, which is 63. If I cast a uh, uh, vigor again, which gives me temporary hit points, uh, any spells that affect me, so long as it's within five feet of me, also affect it. So if I did cast vigor on myself, it would also get more hit points. However, don't want to spend the uh, hit points as of yet. But it does have a hardness of eight, which means know, nothing when you're sharing pain. <laughs> Under share pain, it does. At least uh, according to rule set, which is, I mean, unless you want to rule otherwise. Uh, no, I don't want to specifically uh, change it. I just think that's stupid because yeah, the sharing is the pain, strange. not the hit. You already get your DR and whatnot on your side. Although, technically, it can't feel pain because it's a construct that. Doesn't yeah, like that's true too. Receptors. Um, can the ability be used on a construct? It can. Okay. Pull up here. Share pain. Target you and one willing creature or two willing creatures. Okay, Aaron, you're up first. Really? Oh wow. Um. It would be the move, so I don't see anything. You didn't click on your token because you rolled an 18 for initiative. 
I re-rolled it when we talked about the thing. That oh, the okay. Thing. Sorry. Never mind. You're good. Um, hearing about a shade, I'm not worried about a shade, so he's going to need... To, he's going to want to probably do what he can to buff. Um, is there anything he could do for that right now? Um, not really as a move action. So I guess he would have to go back up there. Okay. I think that's safe. And I still take the 25 half to 12, right? On healing? From their yes, the wall okay. lasts around a level. Damn. Um, yep, so I'll go here and looking for atonement. Don't see him. Have confidence he's probably gonna help with whatever's going on, so that's my turn. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Srell. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I think that's all he's going to do for the moment. Oh, I guess he can cast a displacement as well. Oh, fuck that guy. There we go. He's buffed to the tits. This is going to be a funny fight. He's going to be able to find. Now, I think he's confident. <laughs> he's probably going to ruin someone right now. Okay, then we are on to Yinwick, who's just counting down. I stopped to scream at the flowers. I stopped to scream. I stopped to smell the flowers. No, I, was, I stopped to scream at them. I'm frightened. Just look at these flowers. How dare they stand upright while you're cowering? Don't they feel nervous? Some fear? people's flowers. Okay, then is the crystal doing anything? You guys just fluke out and always roll the same initiative. I rolled the same initiative like three times in a row, except for that. 80 yeah, but uh, Corey and his thing always seem to have the same initiative. Oh, they have a different, yeah, uh, just different modifier, but same initiative. Yeah, it has a uh, a two dexterity. So technically, it goes before me if it did go. Well, it wouldn't go before you because it uh, or wouldn't. Yeah, it's not an initiative. But so oh. isn't the initiative? It's well, already yeah. above you. 
Okay, are you doing anything? Corey? Oh, sorry. I just didn't hear you. 